Hey guys, I'm back with another beatbox tutorial and today I'll be teaching you guys the throat bass, its variations and concepts and also vibration bass. Initially, I was planning to do like an all-in-one uh, video like all the throat basses in general like inward bass, chest bass but I decided to like uh, make parts of it. Now this this video I'll be teaching only throat bass. Uh, I'll go in a bit detail and then vibration bass. And the next video would be chest bass and inward bass. Yeah. And as always, I'll be leaving timestamps down below, uh, links to other tutorials, uh, and also if you want like a specific tutorial on the sound. But I highly recommend watching the throat bass because I'll be explaining the difference between different throat basses and different variations of vibration bass. Yes, there are variations of vibration bass. But yeah, before wasting any of your time, let's begin with the tutorial. For the first tutorial, it will be on the throat bass. Now, throat bass have different variations. I'll be teaching you guys two variations that I know and I can do, but there are many more variations. There are the variation like uh, Big Ben's bass, uh, Reap's one, Kenny Urban, they have the, their own special variation. But I will be teaching you two variations, which are very common actually. One of it, one of which is very, very common. The first variation of throat bass is the codfish throat bass. Now, I'm, I'm calling it codfish throat bass because he's he uses it a lot and he's very very clean with it and now there's a difference between this bass and the next bass i'll be teaching you anyway the codfish throat bass sounds like this yeah 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 mm. second variation of throat bass that i know is actually the slither bass and it sounds quite different but people tend to like not notice this difference and the slither bass sounds like this <laughs> so those are the two variation of throat basses not a lot of tutorials actually point that out and um i'll be teaching you guys both of these and i'll explain what's the main difference and how you can get even either one of those or even both of them let's begin with the first one the codfish bass and the concepts are actually very very easy it will just you know you have you have to really put passion and time into it you don't have to be lazy don't be lazy while learning uh, basses especially basses or actually any sound but basses especially because basses they take really long time to like you know get the hang of it so for the codfish bass Try clearing your throat but lightly only don't go like <coughs> just a light clearing your throat like <coughs> <coughs> now do this while you're also vocalizing that clearing throat right not like <coughs> vocalize it <coughs> say <coughs> <coughs> and once you hear that cracky type texture you hold that spot hold that sweet spot and prolong it and do it just lightly, you know, for this codfish bass, codfish bass is a very light, breathy type of bass. I'll explain the difference more later. So you so you clear your throat vocally, so <coughs> once you hear that scratchy um, texture, cracky texture, uh, you hold that position and prolong it. So <coughs> Now in the beginning, this will not sound like... Like what I'm doing right now definitely will not sound like unless you're like one of those naturally uh, lucky ones who'll get it in the first or few tries but in the beginning it will not sound uh, very clean it will not sound at good at all but you know you have to keep doing it keep practicing you can either start with closed mouth <coughs> or open mouth <coughs> but it's basically the same but some people you know find it easy with closed mouth some people find it with open mouth it's totally up to you now for some people this may hurt for me it didn't really hurt in the beginning but for some of you, it might hurt. So uh, if it all hurts bad, stop, drink some warm water and, you know, give it a rest and try again. You have all the time unless yeah, you're dying somehow. And that's pretty much it for the codfish base. I know you guys are expecting like a lot of details, but the concept is very, very easy. There's not much to explain, to be honest. It's totally up to you. Like, you know, in learning sounds, you actually have to be really smart and passionate. Anyway, for the second variation of throat bass, the slither bass. So you have to do the same concept as the codfish bass, clearing your throat vocally, but this time you're gonna do it tighter, a bit tighter. So you're gonna do it more aggressive, more tighter here. So instead of the light one, <coughs> you have to go tighter. <coughs> the rest of it is just the same. Also, just look for that texture, the cracky texture, and then prolong it. Work on that sweet spot until you get that consistently. One of the major differences between the codfish bass and the slither bass is the codfish bass is more of a nasal bass. If you notice, if I'm doing the... I don't know if you can notice, but uh, my nostrils... Uh, it's more breathy. 
and it's more nasally. I don't know if that makes sense. But the slither bass is not breathy at all. So it's like you know, it really helps with um, breathing techniques in beatboxing. So note, uh, note it down. Codfish bass needs more air to come out, while the slither bass does not. You can actually tell the difference if I yeah 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 versus the yeah 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 so you see it's more breathy when it comes to codfish bass and a codfish bass again is more lighter than a slither bass slither bass is like a tighter version of codfish bass i mean that's that's the exactly what like i'm trying to explain it's more tighter now it's totally up to you which bass you want to learn you can actually learn both bases both are really cool and they have their own advantages and disadvantages um i'll be explaining the vibration bass also because vibration bass actually depends what type of bass you have but before going to vibration bass sorry i have to explain how you're gonna train this throat bass what if now you got the throat bass but how to like practice it it's very 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 easy you just have to come up with a beat that's very catchy that includes throat any of the throat bass and you just have to you know spam it like you know when you're learning a sound uh, usually you come up with a really cool beat it's catchy it's so catchy that you know you, you have to you you want to spam it all day yeah come up with a beat you can even copy other beatboxers for me when i started beatboxing and i, I really like the throat bass from marcus perez and codfish that's why i can do like somehow both the bases but mostly i do the uh, marcus the slizzer bass one but i can do both of them because i tried to copy their beats a lot before and their beats have throat bass a lot and it's, it was really catchy for me I, I kept spamming it all day that's how i train the throat bass in addition to that if you want to train your uh, throat bass try training it in different ranges and levels what i mean by that is for example if you're like training your slizzer bass you can try to like go high pitch low pitch uh, you know alternate this way you get you can get the bass very clean and you have more control and same goes actually with other sounds as well even the sounds that are not vocal for example lip rolls if you like sub bass if you try to train them with high pitch low pitch so you, you can get that really good control once you have you know control on those different ranges yeah guys keep training and i hope you guys can get the bass all right for the most requested sound the vibration bass the vibration bass sounds like this Now this vibration bass is quite tricky actually now not a lot of people point this out when they're teaching vibration bass vibration bass is different depends on what bass you have learned my vibration bass is based on the slizzard bass that is why my vibration bass is, texture is a bit different than uh, others because the codfish bass is actually more more common than the slizzard bass so when i'm learning the when you're learning the vibration bass most of uh, beatboxers they learn the codfish type of vibration bass like based from the codfish bass my vibration bass is based from the slizzard bass which is not very common so you don't hear that my type of vibration bass texture a lot but the concept of learning vibration bass is actually similar very very similar so you even if i show you how to do the vibration bass bass from slizzard bass because i cannot actually do the vibration bass bass from the um codfish bass i cannot do that i can only do the slizzard bass one but the concept is, is the same and you'll get it as well all right in order to get that vibration bass you need to have good control in either one of the bases codfish or slizzard bass uh, really good control especially if you're like consistent with it it's not cracking it's like you, you can prolong it for a really long time then you can actually get the vibration bass much faster the vibration bass the concept again is easy it's hard to practice it but the concept is basically when you're doing the um, ba throat bass you just have to tighten it more tighten your throat more and bring it also at the same time lower by lower i don't mean like you have to bring your jaw lower i mean the jaw can help sometimes not not talking about the adam's apple bringing it lower i'm talking about like you just have to imagine you know imagine the spot where the bass is actually coming out from imagine that spot and just tighten it up bring it more lower I, I, it's hard, actually really hard to explain you just have to imagine and imagine where the throat bass is coming from right 
Then imagine that uh, tighten your throat and then bring it a bit lower. For some people uh, like me, my vibration base is much much cleaner and powerful when I tilt my head a bit. Now, I, you have actually seen it when I'm doing the vibration base. I tilt my head like this at an angle. It's because I my sweet spot where the vibration base is coming out is more like you know I can control it more when I tilt my head. Get tilted. Some people don't need the tilt, but you know it depends on you. You have to experiment. You just move your head around i don't know but yeah for some people uh it, sometimes lowering your uh, jaw lowering your jaw and you know it will also help uh, you really like imagine that uh, throat base position going more tighter and lower now a good tip would be uh imagine if you're like doing a normal voice right and then you tighten it like just like how uh, jaden tightened his voice like yeah 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 you know this tight voice I, i'm sure pretty sure you can do that so the same actually the same thing happens when you're doing the throat bass so you do the normal throat bass and tighten it the same way as you tighten your voice just like to make it sound like from yeah 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 to yeah 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 so try to copy what i'm doing so it's like you're going let's try the normal voice so it's like hmm now you try to put the throat bass on it so that's pretty much it actually now you have to keep you know uh, experimenting with the positioning of your jaw positioning of your uh, actual head uh, for some people they don't really require that positioning but some people do i did notice for some people it might help if you put like a bit pressure on your jaw it's like you're pressing your jaw like putting it pressure you're not moving it much but just just um i don't know how to explain it it's just like you're putting pressure on your jaw yeah basically but the main concept is you just have to get that normal throat base a bit tighter just like how you tighten your voice from so you keep doing that until you hear the change in the texture of your throat base once you hear that change in texture it gets either more lo uh, lower or it just i don't know uh, usually it becomes more lower because vibration is a lower tone so if if you notice that change in texture you can actually notice it here you can feel the difference when you once you get that uh, positioning correct and you notice that crack you actually basically got the vibration base you just have to work on the sweet spot you have to really you know grind for this one this is not an easy sound to master this will take a lot of time beatboxers have taken like it's been for me i've been using it for years now so basically three or two, two two or three years i've been using constantly like vibration throat bass so um that's why i have like i, I, I still am not that consistent with the vibration bass so that takes a lot of time and practice uh, so again to practice this one um once you get the vibration bass you just uh, come up with a beat that is so catchy that includes vibration bass throat bass as well you can practice even both of them uh, spam that and also you can practice different ranges <laughs> I do I actually do that a lot like practicing with different ranges because it really helps me uh, getting that good control on that bass. I almost forgot to mention just like the codfish bass, uh, the vibration bass that I'm doing based on slither bass is not very breathy. It does not exhale a lot of air. Now for those of you who can do the codfish bass already, don't be disappointed. The, the technique, I believe so, I, I might be wrong but I think I'm like 80% sure or 90% sure that the same technique can be used for the codfish base. So if you know how to do codfish base but not a slither base, don't be disappointed. You can still get the vibration base. It's basically the same concept. I cannot do the vibration base based on codfish, but even if I try now, I cannot just get it. You know, I'm used to the slither one. But you, you say same concept, do the uh, codfish base from the normal voice to tight voice, but in that codfish base, and then just, you know, keep getting that positioning out so yeah, guys that's pretty much it i hope this is not too long for you guys um I tried my best to be very detailed as possible it's just um the the sound itself does not require that much detail the concept is easy it's just uh you have to just train it a lot but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah guys i hope you get these sounds i hope i i'm sorry if i didn't cover a lot but i hope it's enough for you to get the sound and yeah thank you for the thank you for watching guys i really appreciate it this is like the first part of bass tutorial like throat bass in general like other all the other bases as well so the next video would probably be um 
chest bass, vocalized chest bass, uh, inward bass as well. So yeah, guys, I'll be recording those tutorials actually tonight. I hope I have time. Yeah, so hopefully I will be done with these tutorials soon and I'll upload them as soon as possible. Thank you for the 5k guys. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that'll be it for this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace. You know what's coming, it's nothing really wicked. <laughs>